Yo, what is going on guys? And today, yes, Jamal Murray has torn his ACL. It's actually a really sad day and it happened against last night against the Warriors and it was just, mm, he limped to the locker room and it just all seemed wrong. So let's just talk about it. Let's get into today's video and let's talk about my man, Jamal Murray, who just suffered, you know, an injury. And is this injury going to be a setback in his career? Yeah. I mean, it'll just be for this year. It's not going to be a career ending or a career altering injury. It's just going to suck because, you know, he's a guy that everyone loves, everyone enjoys watching. And this team was starting to really come together and be playing really good basketball at a perfect time. They were really, I think, really coming together. We saw Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray. I don't know why I said it like that. Nicole Jokic. Aaron Gordon, old playing really good basketball and going into the playoffs. And we had our man, Nicole Jokic, having an MVP season. And I think it's crazy. Right now, Shams just tweeted. If you guys want to hear, I'll read the tweet for you guys. If you guys do not follow Shams on Twitter. Shams tweeted, devastating, season-ending injury for Jamal Murray, who emerged as a superstar in the NBA bubble last summer and has worked diligently in his career to be a lead guard who's respected by his teammates and coaches. Nuggets star guard Jamal Murray has torn his ACL on his left knee. So where does this leave this team now that we go forward? Jamal Murray out. We're going to see, I think, Monty Morris is going to be the starting point guard with Facundo Capazzo to run the second continue running the second unit i think they like him at the second unit we'll see pj you know they're gonna have to sign someone let's who do they sign is there anybody nba free agents still available we'll just look out there just like i think that's a a good thing to search out if we can find someone that's like at that position for them but either we'll just keep looking so you put Monte Morris running the Barton, Porter Jr., Gordon, and Jokic lineup with Composo. I guess Zeke Nanjay is going to start playing maybe more. You, I don't know if you want to move Jamichael Green down or you move PJ down to the shooting guard and Jamichael to the small forward and you put Paul Millsap at the power forward and Nicole Jokic, not Nicole Jokic, JaVale McGee at the center position. That's like... That's what I'm curious. What do you guys do about who's now that you take out Monty Morris? Who because I really saw they're really enjoying the Monty Morris Facundo Composo guard duo as their backup duo, which obviously I enjoyed that as much as the next guy. And I think now you have to start Monty Morris, that's who I would be starting. And you know, obviously, I think the best. The best thing for this team would be trying to find a veteran point guard, a point guard available in free agency that they could get. I think, I don't know, I it's really hard to think about who's going to be able to fit in this team because you can only go into free agency, obviously the trade market just ended. And I really like Will Barton, who's been cooking it since he's been moving to the shooting guard position. He's playing this, like, fifth fiddle. He comes in. He takes the shot he needs. He doesn't do anything too extravagant, nothing that makes you go, like, hey, you need to cool it. And it used to be, like, him and Gary Harris just gave you a headache sometimes. And now that Gary Harris is gone, Will Barton's just playing really good basketball. And this team is now out of 20-point score. So I think Will Bard and Aaron Gordon are going to pick up that scoring. Monty Morris is going to also pick up some of that scoring. I think Paul Millsap is a little bit old. And I, I think right now 20 minutes a night is already ca the cap for him. So that's where, like, RJ Hampton would have been great in this situation. Will we see Marcus Howard? I like Marcus Howard. And... I'm not going to talk any smack against Marcus Howard because I saw that insane dribble move he did that was tribbling, uh, trending online. And if you guys don't know who Marcus Howard is, he is actually the brother of Jordan Howard. If you guys don't know who Jordan Howard is, he was a college basketball player at the University of Arkansas, Central Arkansas. And he plays now in the Super National Balcento League, which is in Puerto Rico. And Marcus Howard is actually the 
played at Marquette, went drafted, undrafted, and he actually averaged 27.8 points in his last season at Marquette in 33 minutes. So can score, can shoot the three ball with the best of him, and he can get some steals. He can dish out the ball. So we could see him go full force with Marcus Howard or do they sign? Is Shabazz Napier in the free agency still? I don't. Really, I wish there was a way we could see like free agency. Yeah, I think he's he's a free agent. So Shabazz Napier could be a guy they could bring in. He didn't have a bad year last year. Last year at 11.6 points in 24.4 minutes a night. I'm surprised he hasn't been picked up so far this year. So this kind of blows me out. And I'm I'm trying to see if there's anybody else on here. Jordan McRae is pretty crazy. I always whenever I see him. He always makes me laugh. Emmanuel Moutier is another guy. I think he's kind of falling out of the league. I know he's out. Of, I, I'm not. They're not bringing back Emmanuel Moutier. Where, where is he? Is he a free agency? In free agency? Yeah, he is. Okay. I don't think they're going to bring back Emmanuel. I really think the only guy they could bring in is Shabazz Napier. Maybe Quinn Cook if he's still in free agency. I know Tim Frazier just got signed. Shaquille Harrison just got signed. I mean, there's Jeremy Lin. There's like a few guys that could bring Yogi Ferrell, but I think he just got signed too. So makes you think like, who could they bring in to fill in that hole? I don't know.